Welcome back to the dramatic conclusion of Widget of the Week's deep dive into Flutter's keyboard shortcuts system. After exploring the focus and shortcuts widgets, we're finally ready to understand the final player in this drama, the Actions widget. Before, we learned about how Flutter routed keyboard events up the widget tree, starting with the active focus node, until a shortcuts widget matched the keyboard event and converted it to an intent. The Actions widget closes this loop by matching intents with actual functions that fulfill your user's hopes and dreams. To start, add an Actions widget to one of your widget's build methods. The Actions widget takes an important named parameter called Actions, which is a map of intents and actions. It's best to define that map separately, but once you have, plop it back in your Actions widget. And what do these action classes look like? They subclass action and specify which intent class they should match. Lastly, they have an invoke method, which accepts the specific intent instance Flutter matched them with, which Flutter will call for you. With that, your integration into Flutter's keyboard shortcut system is complete. The user types keys on a physical keyboard and a key event propagates up the widget tree until a shortcuts widget converts it into an intent. That intent returns to the active focus node, then propagates back up the tree a second time until an actions widget converts it into an action. And then Flutter calls that actions invoke method to achieve the actual effect. In the end, your desktop and web users are happy and Flutter's focus system passed messages around instead of you having to couple lots of your UI widgets to knowledge of specific keyboard shortcuts. For more info on Flutter, head to flutter.dev.